Yeah, welcome to all of you. So in the last class, we have completed till sutra number 19. 19. OK. Yes. So let us again. So here, sutra number 17 is telling about the Heya Hetuhu. Heya meaning Dukha, Hetu meaning Koj. Koj of the Dukha is the Sanyoga combination, union of the Drashta and the Drashta, Prakriti and the Purusa. Sutra number 18 description about the detailed description about the Prakriti. And Sutra number 19 also about the Prakriti. Sutra number 20 about the Drashta. Today we'll discuss the Sutra number 20 Drashta. Okay. Drashta, see they are translating. And Purusa also we call it is Purus. So Sutra number 20, it is Drishta Drishi Matraha Shuddhopi Pratyanu Pashaha Pratya Pratya meaning through the Buddhi Pashaha Passah meaning dekhna, we can see, it is appears to see through the buddhi. It meaning that which we are going to discuss about the purusa, it is according to buddhi. Okay, buddhi, uh, it is looking, it is explaining like that because we are getting the, know the nature of the purusa and the prakriti through the buddhi only. Okay, so it is the the quality of drishta is the drishi matraha. Drishi matraha meaning pure consciousness. Pure consciousness it is. Sudhopi. Sudhopi. Sudhi meaning the purity. No any kind of impurity. Okay, so as we say also, Bhagavad Gita also telling that the soul, the Atma, Atma is pure consciousness. Fire cannot burn it, water cannot do anything, Fire, air cannot dry it, because it is free from all activities. It is the drishta, and we get this knowledge through the buddhi, through our intelligence. And how we get this intelligence? Through the practice of samadhi. Then we will get the viveka khyati. When we will get the viveka khyati, then we realize our drishta, realize our self realization. Okay, so it is the process. So that he is telling, it is the pure consciousness and free from all kind of impurities. So th that we called, it is the drishta. Okay. Next is the now, what is the relation of the prakriti and the purusa? Now we have discussed Sutra number 18 and 19 about the Prakriti. Sutra number 20 about the Purusa. And now question is in mind, how Prakriti, what, is, what per, uh, Prakriti perform? So that answer in Sutra number 21. Tadartha eva drishasyatma.
इट मीन्स दैट प्रकृति तदर्थ एव दृश्य से आत्म द प्रकृति इज फॉर द पुरुष ओनली सांख्य दर्शन द फ्यू एग्जाम्पल सांख्य दर्शन इज गिविंग अबाउट द प्रकृति एंड द पुरुष द सेम एग्जाम्पल आई एम रिपीटिंग हियर नाउ लेट मी कन्फर्म ए हाउस ओके ए हाउस इज द प्रकृति और द पुरुष हाउस इज द प्रकृति नॉट पुरुष बिकॉज इट फाउंड फ्रॉम द मेटीरियल थिंग्स ना पंच महाभूत सो इट इज द प्रकृति सो सांख दर्शन द लॉजिक सांख्य कार्यका इज गिविंग दैट वट एवर मेटीरियल वट एवर थिंग्स आर अवेलेबल इन दिस मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड दैट इज फॉर समन अदर Please try to understand this concept. Whatever available in this world, that is for others. For example, your home. Home himself he can use. Others who lived in the house they use. Okay, the another example, a car. Car cannot do anything herself. Who is the owner of the car he will ride according to him as like same purusha also whatever material world that is the prakriti and who is living who is using that is the purusha so as like same the food food is prakriti and who is eating who is ser- serving whom to serving that is the purusha are you understanding this concept so it is the same thing tadarth ev drishya atma that prakriti is for the purusha only and how they are translating for the sake of that purusha alone does prakriti exist i don't know how much you are getting or not so through that examples you can understand it but sir i have a question like you said the food food is prakriti and uh, the one who consume the food is purusha hmm not purusha it is for other i am telling that whatever is there whatever things are available that things they are not using for their self they are for others i am i am giving that logic yeah so that i got like uh, these all are prakriti and whatever they are they are used by others then who is that others what we call that yes. others the other is the it looks that drashta but actually not drashta is taking the same which example you gave here the food consuming our body but prakriti it looks that namita she is eating food but really namita is eating food no it is looking that namita is eating food but actually namita's body is eating food that's why in sankhya karika a word used for purusha that word is the please it is very very important word it is the uh, bhava something like that so like uh, here what i got that you said that namita is not the namita's body is eating the food but not namita like we can call that pure consciousness that atman atma yeah same i am telling there is a yeah. word very important word i am missing here right now for purusha that word is um, i will let you know when i reminded that word okay i will inform you so the meaning of that it is looking but actually it is not that drishti uh, 
भाव है समथिंग दैट वर्ड सॉरी मिथ्या नो 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 आई विल लेट यू नो वेन आई रिमाइंडेड ओके भोक्तरी भाव आती यस नोटेड डाउन इट इज संस्कृत वर्ड दैट आई मिस भोक्तरी भावात इट मीनिंग इट इज लुकिंग दट इट इज भोगी इज इटिंग हिज इंजॉयर बट एक्चुअली इट इज नॉट इंजॉयर सेम थिंग द सेम एग्जाम्पल इट लुक्स द नमिता इज इटिंग फूड बट एक्चुअलिटी इज नॉट दैट इट इज भोक्तरी भावात भोक्तरी भावात मीनिंग इट इज लुकिंग Namita is eating, but actually Namita is not eating. But it looks like that. It is that word bhogtri bhavat. This question can come in use. You see, bhogtri bhavat. The word is for whom? That is for the purusha. Okay. Are you understanding? Can you conclude this sutra twenty and twenty one sutra? One of you, come on. In your own language. Anyone, come on, sir. Yes. So the the drishta, which is uh, is uh, made for the uh, experience, the uh, experience and uh, enjoy for the drishya only. Hmm. And uh, okay. it, like this, uh, it the scenery and the self cause of all existence only. Hmm. Like uh, soul is existence. and uh, that uh, that is a source of energy what we call like that with the five senses and everything is ex exists to experience mm -hmm. the uh, prakriti very good very good very good okay whatever in this world it is for the purusha but actually purusha is free from that it is bhoktri bhavat it looks it is enjoying but it is not enjoying yes sir Okay. It looks like it is. It is involved all those things, but uh, it is like it is. that. But it is not excellent. As like Krishna, it yes. looks that Krishna is. He is the king. He is the friend. He is the warrior. But actually, he is free from everything. <laughs> okay, as like same Purusha also. Okay, it looks, but it is not in. It he is not actually enrolling. Okay. Okay, next sutra. When you will read, I already told you, if you will not do homework, if you will not do self study, you cannot get the concepts. I am hundred percent sure. When you note down these examples which I am using here, and with these examples, when you read the book yourself, then you will get easily this concept. Otherwise, no chance you will get the concept. i'm expecting you all are doing study after the class you are reading the book yourself okay and vyas bhasha also whatever you can i'm expecting you are reading okay sutra number 22 now relation okay so here sutra number 21 here is telling the prakriti is for the purusha and what what are the functions of the prakriti please confirm last class we covered this it what are the function of the prakriti come on kriya sthiti shilam no madam no hoga and apavarga hoga and apavarga hoga and apavarga the same story i told you na tulsidas ji also the female the wife of the tulsidas she was Giving bhogha, she she was giving pleasure to Tulsi Das ji because of her he was attached with her wife with his wife okay and the same wife she became the cause of his liberation upward the same prakriti also prakriti bound us in this world and this same prakriti help to get liberation mind also this mind the mind if it is not control it bound us in this world and the same mind if it is under control our mind 
if we are the mind is under controlling then the same mind will show as the path of the liberation the same concept according to hatha yoga also kundalini in hatha yoga you will get this line when you will read hatha pradipika the kundalini is the cause of foundation and the same kundalini same kundalini is the cause of liberation why until the kundalini is not awakened so it is bounded when it is awakened by the practice then the same kundalini is responsible for liberation okay for example i gave now you correlate okay so the all example just to make you understand the function of the prakriti okay hmm okay now here sutra number 21 he is telling the prakriti is for the purusha it meaning prakriti is performing two things one is the bhoga and another is the apvarga now question in our mind bhoga we understand if continue bhoga then the purusha it will bound continue in this material world as like me and you thousands of years our birth cycle is going on continue we are getting we are living one body and we are getting the another body and same cycle continue going on then what happened if prakriti is apavarga what will happen with that prakriti okay i am making a little diagram me not getting it is with structure yes please structure of structure of human and this human body is formed by it is prakriti okay yes yes sir. and the whom the atma the soul is living okay now soul is bound in this body now for a second you think this soul okay soul is free then what will happen this body let me answer dissolving prakriti again yes the same answer here it meaning the liberation of the soul not the prakriti getting this concept prakriti it will remain same same thing he is telling tadanna sadharanatvat it meaning that material body it will dissolve in the five elements and then it will make to someone other body because it is a prakriti the lib- who is liberated yes please who is liberated soul yes soul the drashta the purusha not the prakriti this is the major concept here sutra number 22 it is kritartham prati nashtam api nashtam tadanna sadharanatvat kritartham meaning the prakriti who has fulfilled the apavarga it meaning drashta is liberated here right now in this stage okay nashtam api nashtam it is not destroying prakriti it is not destroying the same prakriti it will do work for the another purusha because it is a prakriti prakriti cannot be liberated in every time prakriti maintain here and the here you can also give the one more word here nitya in hindi we call it is a nitya in english we immortal we say na in english nitya immortal it meaning hundreds eternal life hundreds thousands of years back also prakriti here and after thousands of prale ke baad bhi prakriti will maintain here so prakriti we can say prakriti is also nitya nitya meaning who cannot destroy so with this this sutra it is explaining prakriti is not destroying that's why we can say prakriti is the immortal nitya 
Okay. Yes, one of you, please conclude Sutra number 22. Come on. Relate both Sutra 21, 22. Come on, come on. Your own language. Uh, sir, when uh, Prakriti uh, Kritartham means uh, when Prakriti is done with the Upvarga and it is it is uh, like uh, changing the body so the body has been changed and prakriti is always there it is changing and changing for year and year so prakriti is uh, not uh, destroyable and it is always here immortal that's what i thought very good so here in sankhya darshan this example is given sankhya karika they are telling Prakriti as like a dancer, Nrithki. So assume that this show is going on. The all the audience they are getting benefit of the show. Okay. And the, this lady is, is the Prakriti. Just for it. And these are the Purusaj. What will happen? Every hour new show is coming. Every hour, these all the persons, they are changing. But Prakarti will be same because it is the his work. The same thing, if now they are coming, they liberated, they go, they enjoyed it. Now the others, Purusa will come and then, then they will enjoy her. Hope you are getting with this example also. Okay, It is Sankhya Karika example. Sutra number 23. Sir, I have a question. Like you said, the new... So for that uh, Atma and uh, Prakriti's example, like uh, every time uh, the body, uh, what we call after the death, uh, in the next birth, we are getting the new body. Okay? Yes. That body is Prakriti. Every time is changing, is changing. So the Atma is also changing in that. And the previous Atma is getting, for example, I am died. And um, in the next birth, um, my Atma will get a new body. Mm. Okay. So that is that Purusha is liberated. And that is Prakriti. New, new, new. Again and again. That body again and again. Prakriti is same, madam. Purusa, that is the liberation stage. We are not liberating, no? we are dead, not liberating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Liberation and death both are different things, okay? Okay. Sir? So the Prakriti is immortal. And in death case also, that, that body, it is working for the someone other? Yes. Both examples, okay? Yes, uh, Sandeepji. Sir, so the... The Krutardha means what I understand, but uh, the body which is not only the body that is much, much more than that which we are experiencing. That is a pure consciousness, what we are established in that uh, enlightenment at that time. Yes, we can. That means uh, the, the person uh, who, do, who experienced that, who, who came to know about this one, Hmm. But uh, till the till that time, it will uh, the drushya is exists for him. Yes, it is also I, you can say both example you can say okay. Okay. So the main thing is that prakriti will be same. It is the main thing here. Sadharan nitvat okay. Now, again they are highlighting the cause of Dukkha. That is the Sanyoga. The same thing he is repeating again. Sava Sakti, Swami Sakti. Sarupo Vlabdi Hetuhu Sanyoga. It means that when Sava Sakti, the Drashta, Swami Sakti, 
sorry swami i think swami we call it is the prakriti no purusha master yeah swami let me give one minute just one minute so sakti yeah so yeah i am right yeah so sakti is the prakriti okay yeah swami swami is the purusha and sava is the prakriti okay so these are the two elements so sakti is adding here so you understand these are the two elements one is the so so meaning it is the prakriti swami it is the purusha okay these are the two elements sarupo plabdhi both are getting the nature their actual nature because of the union only when they are combining then they are getting this nature which we are looking because after the union of prakriti and the purusha then only the other elements mahata ahankara 11 senses tanmatras mahabhuta they are creating without that it is not creating so the same thing is telling the nature of the prakriti and the purusha we know prakriti is the jad rooted and purusha is the consciousness but we are looking just because of sanyoga otherwise we cannot see purusha the drashta is separate element prakriti is separate element when they are union together then they are bound and the creation is started so it is the meaning of this sutra so here is highlighting again the sanyoga importance of sanyoga without the sanyoga this universe it will not exist because both are sanyoga both are union together that's why prakriti sorry not prakriti this universe is existing because of the prakriti and the purusha it is the logic of yog darshan and sankhya darshan both theory okay and next sutra now what is the main cause of this sanyoga this question is coming now we know that prakriti and the purusha they are getting this nature because just because of sanyoga and why how we get sanyoga in answer in next sutra sutra number 24 it is tasya tasya meaning sanyoga hetu hetu meaning cause karan avidya it means the main cause of the union of the prakriti and the purusha is what come on it is the avidya and avidya is a place and maha place also we say it is because all time it presents till the liberation after liberation or only the avidya is avoided otherwise avidya is present in all time okay the main cause of the union of prakriti and purusha is the avidya many time this questions has been asked in ugc avidya what is the main cause of the union now in next sutra now we all known what is the cause the cause is the avidya now how we will get the liberation use your common mind for example that if anyone who is getting obese fatty body because of the he is not doing exercise we got the what is the main cause of this problem and then what is the solution of it yes please what is the solution of obesity uh diet and exercise very good diet and exercise the same formula now we got 
the main cause of this yoga this dukkha that is the avidya if we control this cause automatic we will get kevalya we will get the liberation the same thing is telling in the next sutra tad bhavat sanyoga bhavo hanam tad drishye kevalyam tad bhavat meaning tad abhavat it is abhavat okay tad meaning avidya abhavat meaning the effect of the avidya is reducing okay reducing with the practice then what what happen when the effect of avidya will reduce then sanyoga bhavo because avidya is the main cause of the sanyoga if avidya is reducing avidya effect is reducing automatic prakriti and purusha they will again separate are you getting this concept yes sir ahanam tad drishye kevalyam so then we can see it is looking the kevalya okay ranam we call that the mahatma buddha four aryas char aryasatya mahatma buddha he gave that are the sarvam dukham yeah here is there dukham aryasatnam dukha samudaya dukha nirodha and dukha nirodha gami in hindi in saral meaning it the meaning of it sarvam dukham everything is dukha that is the heya second is the hetu heya hetu dukha karana we know it is the avidya dukha ant ka satya dukha ant ki that hana it is the hana third is the hana the solution sorry dukha ka ant yes dukha ant is the hana solution of the dukha it is the hana and what is the hana upaya the vivek khyate is the hana upaya okay so again i am repeating this concept that the main cause of the sanyoga is the avidya when we reduce the effect of the avidya then we we will get the kevalya okay and which method now question in our mind that tad bhavat okay if we reduce the effect of the avidya then we can get the liberation okay now question in our mind how can we reduce the effect of avidya which method that is the hanopaya in the next sutra how we can reduce the effect of the avidya sir, yes madam sorry to disturb you uh, but sir mujhe ek baar tad bhavat ka matlab meaning mujhe samajh nahi aaya it is tat abhavat tat meaning avidya abhavat meaning the effect of the avidya they are also telling that by the absence of the avidya getting or confused right now sir can you repeat the whole sutra again okay i am repeating okay just wait so previous sutra we were discussing about the avidya okay so here mm -hmm. tat word tat meaning it is for the previous sutra and previous sutra we were discussing about the avidya getting now abhavat abhavat meaning the effect of avidya if we are reducing because it is a i am meaning negative not bhavat bhavat is positive but it is a is here it meaning reduce the effect of the avidya if avidya is reducing automatic sanyoga will also reduce and what is sanyoga prakriti and the purusha if sanyoga is reducing automatic prakriti and purusha will separate 
and both will separate, then that is the cable state. Getting or not? Right yes. Now? Yes. Please, yes. please conclude your own language. What you are understanding? Please conclude it. Yes. So can I? Yes. Uh, as the sutra is tad bha tad abhavat sanyog bhavo hanam hanam tad drishya kevalyam. Tad means the previous sutra tas hetu ravidya in which you're talking about the avidya and bhava abhavat means effect of avidya which has been reduces after the sanyoga means the union uh, of the prakriti and the purush which gets separated when the effect of avidya get reduces and after the separation of prakriti and purusha one can attain the kaivalya very good automatic it will attain automatic okay and one more example also i'm giving a common example in our friendship or in the family okay avidya i already told you it is the misconception we are thinking negative opposite we are thinking for example uh, husband and wife wife they are fighting husband and wife okay because of the misunderstanding it is the husband and it is the wife now misunderstanding over abhavat because of the misunderstanding both were thinking negative each other now misunderstanding over it end automatically the cause of the problem will also over now both will live familiar with happy life okay and this is the kevala also same thing okay just so for example just to make you understand i give that example hope you are getting thank you sir thank you sir okay the now question in our mind tad abhavat how this misunderstanding will come over from the vek khyati so vivek khyati avipalva Okay. When we will get the Vivek Khyati and that Vivek Khyati is also Avipalva. Avipalva meaning that without fluctuation, it meaning fully concentrate, no distraction, no distraction like that. Ravana, he got Vivek Khyati, but he was not it was fluctuating that's why he fall down from his level but the sages who are getting liberation they are not distracting their mind after reaching that stage vivek khyati vivek khyati it is the highest stage of the intelligence vivek also we say na, discrimination viveka we say the both also another word we say it is vivek sochne samajhne ki sakti vivek we call it is viveka that without fluctuation viveka when we will get then hano payaha automatic that avoidance it meaning the effect of the avidya it will reduce sir okay. yes sir in journal viveka means gyan yes gyan yeah. intelligence yeah. okay so, so the here the meanings change the discrimination discrimination in uh, what we say discrimination meaning in hindi Discrimination is the Vivek Bhav. Is ka matlab yaha pe ya aega ki sahi galat ki parak ho jana usko. Hmm. Sahi kya hai? What is right? What is wrong? Everything he got that knowledge. Okay. So not able to understand. 
not um, understand yes so, uh, okay the example i am giving to you vivek vivek okay now okay for our class take our class example okay so i am scolding it is my nature teacher is scolding the students his purpose that your vivek gyan will activate you start to understand you start read your books yourself you don't depend on teacher the teacher purpose is that he is giving his best to make independent the students okay but students few students they are thinking negative it is not avi palwa now who are in this present class they are the avi palwa now they are believing you all are believing oh sir is scolding us it is something our benefit that's why right now also your knowledge is increasing and who are wrong thinking who are taking negative that thing so automatic their level will get down shraddha va labate gyanam shraddha is there automatic your intelligence will be improve otherwise shraddha you have no shraddha on the teacher or the guru automatic your level also will down okay so that is shraddha that is the avi palva that also you have to be trust to the teacher trust to the guru then automatic your consciousness your knowledge level your intelligence it will improve okay getting or not confused yes sir confused confused yeah, someone please yeah yeah one of you come forward and explain your own language but you are understanding yes please sir can i add something yes please yes please about vivek there have a story in chicago uh, a person came to vivekananda and asked about you told me this story long back a person came to swami vivekananda and, and uh, offered uh, some bunch of books and some money at that time vivekananda chosen the money and uh, the person are uh, given uh, like a gali like that see the your indians are like that you choose uh, money but not the books and the knowledge means uh, then vivekananda answered him normally persons choose the things which are not having with them that is the viveka means uh, discrimination from the things the what is good what is bad may this thing is useful for that yes madam yes sir what is good what is right what is wrong he so chosen the thing the books is books is full of knowledge already he is having that that's why he chosen money hmm. so according to situation what is necessary for us that kind of uh, intelligence we will get that is also discrimination like viveka that's yes. why that is the discrimination okay hmm the next now question in our mind okay vivek gyan we are getting it is the solution of the hanupaya vivek gyan then which kind of intelligence we will get that answer in the next sutra tasse saptada pranti bhumi hi pragya pragya is the your intelligence your cognition uh, cognition power so seven kinds of states you will get seven levels you can understand that is uh, it is a student of the 10th standard okay now he get admission in first month if someone is asking him 
then what he will reply he is in the 10th standard okay after 6 months someone other is asking which standard you are that was which answer he will be 10th standard same 10th standard and 11th after 11 months someone other again asked him which standard you are then what is the answer Mm. 11th standard sir 11th after 11th month he will be in the next standard madam 12 months one year na 10 10 standard i i used I 11 months only like okay. march to march sir that why i answered like that it is 12 months na yeah, okay yeah. Don't, don't use extra mind just common thinking okay so it means in the first month second one third month sixth month 10 month 12 months but his level is same but is understanding is same or different different getting more knowledgeable here saptada pranti bhuma here you understand the seven months the seven stages of the knowledge first is the ge sunne state second is the heye sunne state third is the prap prape it is not ta why a prap prape state okay fourth is the chikirsa sunne state fifth one is the gratitude of chitta sixth one is the गुण लीनता नाइन्थ इज द आत्मस्थिति सो फर्स्ट फोर बिलोंग्स टू अवर दैट गोल वट आर अवर गोल एंड फिफ्थ एंड सिक्स इट इज ऑल्सो गोल बट इट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ द चित्ता एंड सेवेंथ इज द फाइनल स्टेट so understand what is the gay sunne state now uh, why we are practicing to get the knowledge knowledge is the vivek gyan gay sunne state that we have done for example it is a yogi that i told na 10th class standard person now first level he got that is the gay the knowledge the okay he got the vivek khyati that is the target na ultimate target of the, it is the knowledge second state is the what he should be reduced what we should do avoidance that is the dukha so all the dukha he has reduced so the second level also crossed third is the prap prap state what we want to get what is needed the highest state of the samadhi that we got asampraga samadhi nirbij samadhi so third step also got successfully done chikirsa sunne state solution of the all the khaj when the effect of avidya will reduce automatic dukha will over the fourth level also done fifth level is the gratitude of chitta it is the duty of the prakriti two duty prakriti have bhogah and the apavarga bhog hai it meaning karma sanskaras they have done apavarg now bhog hai everything it has done karma sanskara vasna everything done now it is ready for the liberation that is also done so chitta function also done so fifth level also crossed sixth level gun leenata Starting, I explained to you. Chitta have the five bhumi. 
चिप्त मूड विक्षिप्त एकाग्र निरुद्ध सो इन दिप्त द राजसिक गुण इज डोमिनेटिंग मूड हा तामसिक इज डोमिनेटिंग विक्षिप्त सात्विक एंड राजसिक बोथ आर डोमिनेटिंग एकाग्र ओनली सात्विक गुण इज डोमिनेटिंग एंड निरुद्ध गुणातीत स्टेट इट इज इट इज दैट सेम स्टेट निष्पत्ति स्टेट सो सिक्स लेवल ऑल्सो द योगी ही हैज रिस्ड हियर एंड आफ्टर रीचिंग दैट लेवल लास्ट स्टेट इज द आत्मस्थिति आत्मसिद्धि मीनिंग तदा दृष्टु स्वरूप अवस्थान अल्टीमेटली फाइनली दट दृष्टा इट विल इस्टाब्लिश इन हिज ओन नेचर सो दीज आर दस आफ्टर द विवेक ख्याति और स्टेज इज ऑल्सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड कैन वन ऑफ यू कंक्लूड दिस लाइट The stages of the Vedic Khyati, seven types of Pragya. Come on. Uh, for a uh, uh, yogi, sir, there are seven uh, stages uh, to get the self-realization. So in that, the first stage is stages Gaya Gaya Sunya stage, where he will acquire all the knowledge which is required to go through the path. so that is gaya sunya stage and then haya sunya stage is he will avoid all the problems all the dukha whatever is coming uh, coming on the path of gaining the knowledge so that is haya sunya stage and uh, when uh, when he has avoided all the problem he will get the samadhi because he he was getting the knowledge for the samadhi so that is a para prapya stage and then uh, for uh, next stage is chikir chikir sunya stage where uh, for the solution of the dukha whatever uh, means whatever fluctuations are coming in the samadhi uh, uh, that is uh, for the to removal of those uh, dukhas that stage is called chikir sunya stage and then uh, whatever um, uh, whatever he has experienced throughout the word bhog apavarg like uh, uh, the like duty of the prakriti what is the what prakriti is doing everything what has to be done by bhoga and the experiences whatever you are getting from the word that is gratitude of the chitta and then is guna leenata guna leenata is equal to gunatit all the gunas sattva rajas and tamas all are dissolved and you have come over the uh, come over the gunas and now this is the stage the fifth stage of uh, uh, chitta bhumi's nirodha avastha and the next uh, and the last stage is atmas atmasthi that is uh, the self realization we have got like we have established ourselves in our own nature that is tada drashtu swarupe avasthanam we have called very good ma'am very good very good nice all of you you did okay let us quick revision then mang sir will join soon okay let us fast one by one anamika ji please come forward and explain sutra number 20 yes the cr is uh, you are not visible now you are not audible i think network is ma'am have okay uh, jyoti ma'am you come forward jyoti ma'am uh 20th shloka about drashta purusha drashta drishi matra shuddhopi pratyayanu pashaya ha we get the uh, knowledge of purusha purusha is pure consciousness free from all impurities we get this knowledge through uh, intellects buddhi 
the practice of samadhi we will get the uh, we will get this intellect sir it is the nature of the purusha okay okay sandeep ji on your camera and explain the next sutra revise it come on fast two minutes yeah sir has joined i think yeah yeah sir i cannot switch on my camera okay okay so continue sir, sir. hello yeah continue Hello. I think I have network issue. Okay, you all of you continue the class. Sir is also had joined. Okay, uh, do you uh, read uh, revise yourself again? Yes, 